Welcome back my art friends. We are going to make a reindeer today with some fun little ornaments on his antlers. The colors you're gonna need are blue, white, brown, yellow, red, black, and green. I'm going to use my number 10 flat brush as well as my number 10, my number four, and my number one round brush. By the way, this is a one inch flat brush, not a number 10. Um, don't forget to have your rag handy and a cup of water for cleaning your brush and let's get started. I'm gonna paint my background, and if you wanna change the color of your background, you can, but I'm gonna have mine be stripes of blue. So I'm just gonna put some blue on here to start with my big flat brush. Maybe three lines of blue. And then without washing my brush off, I'm just gonna take some white paint, and I'm gonna fill this space in with white. So it's gonna have some lighter blue and some darker blue. So as we kind of put this white on there, this is where the fun happens. So now I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna kind of pull those colors top to bottom all the way across the canvas until I get a background that I like. A Little bit of white, a little bit of blue mixed together makes a great background. To wash my brush off and let this dry when we come back we will lay out where our reindeer is going to go with my white or with my dry background i'm going to use my number 10 round brush and some white paint to lay out where my deer is going to go so i'm going to use um just a couple of simple shapes really so i'm going to start down here in the bottom space and i am going to make what looks like a smiley face see that that's actually going to be hit the bottom of his face now from that smiley face, I'm gonna make an upside down smiley face. So if you could tell, it looks almost like a peanut shape now, doesn't it? From there, I am going to add a smiley face and a frowny face. And we have an ear, copycat on the other side. A smiley face and a frowny face. Now, my reindeer antlers um, might actually be the hardest thing to do. And we're gonna start with some parentheses, which are just a curved line here and a curved line here. We are gonna make these symmetrical. So that means that they're gonna be the same on both sides. So over here on this one, I am going to add a small nub going here and here. Same thing on this side. So at my antlers, I do want them to be a little bit fatter. So all I really have to do is take my brush and kind of set it down and pull it down to make a nice thick antler line. All the way down to his head. Same thing with these little sprouts off of here. So set it down, kind of squish it, pull it in. Makes an amazing line. So set it down, squish it around, just kind of pull it in. Last thing I'll do is just run right along this line one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this whole space in with some white paint so that we have a nice clean background to add our reindeer colors on. And then right down here at the very bottom, I'm just gonna angle my camera down just a little bit more. We are gonna make um, small little bumps because we're gonna have his hands look like he's kind of trying to peek over. So just two small little arches. Let's let this dry. When we come back, we are gonna add in some fun details. Okay, with a dry background, we are now going to add some color to our reindeer. So I am gonna start with a, a straight brown on my brush. So I still have my number 10 round brush. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with a straight brown color. 
and just kind of lay, I just dropped a chunk, oops, lay a nice solid brown on his antlers. His antlers are gonna be darker than the rest of his body. So outline all those antlers the same way I did with the white, but this time with brown. Now, before my antlers dry too much, I am gonna take some white paint, and I'm going to just add a little bit of white paint on my antlers, that was probably too much. Just a little bit to kinda add a small highlight to them. Same brush, I'm now gonna take um, a mixture of, are you ready for this? Brown, yellow, and white. So it's about a third of each. Kind of mix those up here together to get a, a lighter, brighter brown color. And I'm gonna color his entire body. So his ears, his face, and his little reindeer paws with this lighter, brighter color. I'm gonna go with this dark brown color right here and I'm gonna make a curved line just right up here. So one line of the curve. I'm gonna wipe my brush off and then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull that across multiple times allowing my brush to really kind of set down flat on the canvas. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a nice light colored line at the top up there to show you kind of where his nose jets out. Wipe that brush off. I'm gonna do the exact same thing at the very top of his head. So a dark line, okay? And then wash, not wash my brush off, just wipe my brush off. And then just kind of pull that color back and forth a couple times, just to make sure that that top looks just a little bit darker than the rest of his rain gear body. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, wash it off, dry it off. I'm gonna grab some white paint right here inside of his ear, I'm gonna do the same shape. So brownie face on the top, smiley face on the bottom, kind of pull those colors in and lighten up the center of that ear. If you want yours to be a little bit of pink, you can add a small amount of white to it also. That'll just change that color a little bit for you. Down here on his little reindeer paws, I'm gonna take some white paint and do the same type of thing where I'm just gonna add it right along the top of his paws and just kind of wipe my brush off and pull those colors in. If your brush is too big for this, you can always switch to a smaller brush. And then I am gonna switch to my number Four round brush for the next part. So I'm gonna use some black paint. I'm gonna make a little letter M. So it's just a small little bump. 
This is where his little reindeer toenails are. Aren't they so cute? Fill those in with black. Wash that brush off. Now, I think the most perfect way to make eyeballs is with your finger. So if you painted with me before, you know this. If you haven't, welcome to Mary. I like finger painting. So I like to take some white paint on my pointer finger. And if I just set that right here by his eye, I can make a small oval shape and get a great looking eyeball. Go right next door and do the exact same thing. Kind of making sure they're about ish the same size. You know, they might not be perfect, but they'll be close ish. I'm gonna do that same process with my finger, but going sideways for his little reindeer nose, just below the center of this bottom space. Now I did ask on our Facebook poll if you guys wanted ornaments on his ears or up at the top. You guys told me on his ears. So we are gonna add some ornaments hanging off of his, not his ears, his antlers. So I am gonna go in here and make with same thing, my finger, some circle shapes that will be ornaments hanging off of his antlers. I like to do things in the odd number, so I'm gonna stick with just five ornaments. Three on that antler, two on those. We're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we are gonna add in our final details and be finished with our reindeer. Okay, the background is dry. Let's go ahead and add some of our final details in. I'm gonna start off with my number four brown brush and I'm gonna use a little bit of water with my black paint. I like to water down my black paint when I'm making small details. Um, I just really think it works better. So with that watered down black paint, I am going to make his little smiley face. And I'm gonna make this smiley face be a curved line, right? Super easy underneath his mouth. But on one side, I'm gonna make a small little smiley face on it. See that how just on one side has it? That gives him a little bit of a smirk look. I like that. I'm gonna use some watered down black paint mixed with some brown paint. So I'm looking for a dark brown color for his eyebrows and his eyebrows are gonna go just above his eyes, kind of off to the side. So just a curved line, just above his eyes, off to the side. Now I am gonna use my finger again to add the black part of his eye. So with my finger and some black paint, up here in the top right corner of his eye, I am going to put a black oval. Kind of in the top right corner. And since it's going on top of paint, you might have like a little bit of a bumpy line and you can always go through and kind of clean up your line with your paintbrush. Um, but that oval with your finger really helps you kind of get the correct size and shape, but you can always clean it up with your finger a little bit. And then you can give your reindeer any color eyes you want. I'm gonna give my reindeer brown eyes, so I'm gonna add just a small brown line around his eye. wash that brush off and I can use the back of my paintbrush to add two dots at the top of his eyes. So one big dot with one small dot. Now you have a choice. You can make your reindeer nose brown or you can make it a Rudolph and make it red. So I'm of course gonna go red. So with um, same technique, I'm gonna use my finger cause I love the shape I get. Some red paint on there. I am going to just pull that around into an oval. I've got a chunk of paint. Sometimes my acrylic paint 
turns into chunks. I'm just gonna pull that chunk off real quick. And then with my number four round brush and a little bit of white paint, we are just gonna add a small curved white line to the top while our paint is still wet because then we will get a nice little highlight on there. I'm gonna add a couple of highlights to our antlers before we start on to our ornaments. So with a number four round brush and some white paint, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna add a couple of white lines on the outside edge of my antlers, as well as like on the tops of these, maybe just curving around the top and kind of pulling down. Just a small little highlight. It makes a big difference in your art. Maybe even a small little highlight on his ear. Maybe even right up here on top of his nose. Just a couple little lines. Love it. Now you can make your ornaments any color you want. Um, you know, if you stick with Christmas themed colors in your house, maybe if you stick with all blues, change it to blues. Um, it's totally your call. I'm gonna make mine um, red and green. So I'm gonna use my number four round brush with some green paint. And if you're gonna do it the way I'm doing, you could fill them all one color. But if you're gonna make stripes, you actually wanna take your stripes and kind of make them a slight curve. And that slight curve is really gonna help make it look like it is a rounded ornament, not a flat painting. So if you're going to add stripes to yours, you can make it a rounded curve. If you're not going to add stripe to yours and you wanna keep them you know, solid colors, you could always just go in with your finger, like we've done before, and add a circle of color. And I'll show you how to add a highlight to that in just a minute. So you got choices. You know, you could do some circles, some stripes, all circles, all stripes. Whatever you want. You want to add some polka dots to these you can use the back of your brush and even add some polka dots to them i mean think about what ornaments have on them have fun with it you don't have to stick with the way i make mine you can always go crazy and do your own ideas imagine that going to do just these circle ornaments you can always take some white paint and add a small little curved line on one side or another to add a highlight just to kind of change up the the solid color could even add a little bit of a highlight line you know a small circle and a big circle so if you're going to use plain circles that's an option for you too So the last thing I'm gonna add to this little guy is gonna be some snowflakes in the sky. And snowflakes can be pretty simple. You know, you can start with like a, a plus sign and an X. And you could throw a couple of dots on the end of that. or you could just put a couple dots in the background. Um, you can even make some smaller ones by using a smaller brush. Um, maybe you just wanna have some that are just the, the X with the plus. You don't have to add the dots on them. But I feel like this picture calls for some snowflakes or maybe some 
swirls of wind behind him, you know, you can always add whatever you need to add to your paintings. Um, maybe you see something from one of our other videos or somebody else's videos that you love and feel free to add that because it's the whole point of what we do is to just kind of get you to be creative and have fun and enjoy your painting experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some swirls of windy weather and some snowflakes. Okay, let's talk final details. Let's add the tops to these ornaments and get them hanging off of our antlers and get our name signed. I'm gonna use a gray color, so I'm just gonna mix some black with some white um, and get a nice light gray color. And with that light gray color, I am going to add to the top of each of these ornaments just a small little rectangle. Okay, super simple. Small little rectangle at the top of each of these. Oops, I just put my finger in a snowflake and then from those I'm going to use a little bit more of a darker gray so I'm going to add just a little bit more black to my gray mix and with that I am going to just draw a line that goes up and around those antlers so some of my hooks might be longer some may be shorter and that's okay don't forget that when you're finished your job is to sign your artwork in a color that will show up well and don't forget, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. And I love seeing what you guys are making at home. So look us up, Painting with a Purpose on Facebook. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the only way to stay up to date on all of our free tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.